Hey guys, it's Lynn here for Superimpose X and in the next five videos, I'm gonna show you how to use the editor tab by breaking down each individual feature. Today we're focusing on distort, which includes seven features that you can use to distort your images in different ways. Remember that all changes made within the editor tab are permanent, so you won't be able to go back and change them later unless you undo them. The first feature is transform, which lets you change the perspective of the layer. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use this picture of a room and place another photo on top of it as a painting on the wall. First, I'm going to scale it down and place it where I want it. As you can see, it doesn't look very realistic because it doesn't follow the shape of the wall. To fix that, we're going to go to Editor, Distort, and Transform and adjust these blue points to change the perspective of the layer and line it up with the wall. And there you go! Looks much better, right? You also have the option of adding a grid, which can be helpful if you want to check that the lines are straight. The blue points will also snap to the grid to help you get the correct placement. You can choose between a coarse and refine, depending on the size of grid that you're looking for. And if you're not happy with the result, you can tap Reset to start over. Next, we have Warp, which can be used to change the shapes of objects within an image. Using Coarse, you can make bigger adjustments, like making this puppy wider, for example. Refine lets you tweak the shape on a smaller scale, which makes it great for adjusting details. For example, we could make his ear longer or his nose bigger. And if you change your mind, you can always go to Restore to erase any of the changes. Ripple creates a water-like ripple effect that almost makes the photo look like a reflection on water. You can move the ripple around and also adjust the frequency, amplitude, and aspect of it. If you want to keep the effect but remove it from a certain part of the image, you also have the option of adding a mask like with most features in the Editor tab. To add a mask, simply tap the mask icon and start painting on the image where you want to remove the effect. You can change the size and smoothness of the brush. And if you paint too much, you can also tap the paint icon and it will switch over to erase mode so that you can erase a part of the mask. Next up is glass, which makes the photo look like it's taken through obscured glass. You can change the density, thickness, and also the type of glass to achieve your desired look. Swirl lets you add a fun swirl effect. You can adjust the amount, change the size, and move it around. With bump, you can expand a certain part of the image. This can of course be used in a lot of different ways, but it's extra fun for creating funny portraits. Lastly, we have a pinch, which as you can see is another great feature for funny selfies. And just like with bump, you can control the amount, size, and placement of the effect. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials for Superimpose X. And as always, if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to send us an email through the Contact Us option inside the app so that we can help you out from there. Bye!